This year, the goal was to get bigger. Uh, we physically aren't the right size. And secondly, was to become more athletic. And uh, the, the first question we asked as we broke down thousands of videotapes of players as our evaluation, would our opponent, would Central Washington or would Humboldt State recruit this kid? And if the answer was no, well, that's who we're playing against. So we need to, we need to fish in a different DNA pool. And uh, getting bigger and more athletic were two things, two of the goals this year. With the junior college kids, we're getting those guys because there's a hole that we need filled immediately. Um, and we really focus on recruiting Canada first. And uh, so we don't make calls down to the U.S. till probably after Christmas or certainly in, in, you know, by January 1st. And whatever positions or bodies we couldn't find or players we couldn't find in Canada, it's at that point we'll start exploring down south in the junior college ranks. Well, we recruit Canada first because we have the maple leaf on our helmet. We're a Canadian institution. Morally, I feel like we, we should be a Canadian team. And I think that's one of the things that has made us attractive to these three recruits in particular. They could have gone anywhere in the country, um, it, no matter what country they're in. And, and for some reason, they found SFU to be the best fit. Uh, I think having some older junior college players does that does add a dynamic where there's immediate competition at, at various positions. Um, that, that helps us and helps us as a team and helps our maturity as a team. The first guy was Reese Hack. And uh, he's a guy who played quarterback at state in a high school in state in Oregon. And he was a division one guy. He had verbally committed to a school and they ended up pulling their offer um, and had some very late uh, division one interest in the Pac-12. Uh, 6'5", 220 pound, uh, you know, not polished, but really athletic quarterback, and, and he's going to be a good fit for us. Uh, but I think it was the quality of character in our locker room and the types of players that, were, that we are attracting. Where it, it felt comfortable to him and felt like a place where it, not only he could invest in, but a place where he knew we were going to invest in him as well as a young man. Uh, my goal is to come in and be able to compete, uh, push the guys that are in front of me and uh, help them get better and uh, adjust to the speed of the college game. Uh, I just really want to get better and be able to compete. Uh, I think I'm a dual threat guy. I think I can run uh, if need be, but uh, I like to throw the ball down the field. Uh, I like to see myself as a, a general out on the field, uh, directing troops and kind of helping out with whatever I need to help out with. and. Uh, you know, just doing my job as a quarterback, as a leader, leading the team and uh, moving the ball down the field for the offense. The second guy you talked to, I think, was a big linebacker named Jack Goodwin out of Santa Rosa Junior College. You know, 6'2", 230 pounds, really thick-hipped, um, big hitter, you know, big neck, thick, uh, you know, inside linebacker. And plays with an edge and intensity that is really going to help our defense. Um, one of the things, uh, you know, kind of a, a, a part A plus one would, would be we need guys that play with emotion and, and physicality, and Jack Goodwin is a guy who's done that. And uh, playing inside the box, he'll be taking on offensive linemen and fullbacks, and, and not only his physical stature, but the way he's wired, that, that excites him, and he's going to help us. I want to come and start and help the clan out as much as I can. Yeah. They got a good program here and I want to help build the success and do as much as I can to help out. I think my leading ability, definitely. Uh, a big leader on the team and on and off the field and in the weight room and just, uh, I think my play will help out a lot too. Run stuff, stopping linebacker and all that. And I'd say uh, good speed, uh, know how to hit people and uh, just like to fly to the ball and make some plays. Uh, I'm actually a dual citizen. And uh, Travis Hayes, I played football with him at uh, Santa Rosa Junior College for two years. And, uh, you know, I love Canada. British Columbia is beautiful. And Simon Fraser just, it's a beautiful school. And I'm excited. The third guy was uh, a guy who was very quiet, but uh, we are really excited that he's chosen to come to SFU. Um, his dad played uh, college football at Clemson University in South Carolina and uh, lives in Toronto. His name is Cairo Messer Barrel. 
and uh, Cairo's a 6'1", 185 pound defensive back, particularly a corner. And uh, his ability to run and be athletic and match up, not just size-wise, but speed-wise with um, the guys that we're going to be playing against. But just attracting that type of athlete who's big and strong and fast, um, we're, he's going to help make us a better team. I just want to compete for the position because I know there's a lot of DBs out there, but I just want to make some friends and compete for the position. Uh, I like to be physical since I'm one of the bigger corners. I like to get right up in the receivers' faces and make, it, like, make myself known on there. Uh, it's just that shut down the pass. If I have one more player, like a friend on the other side, I know that we can just lock down the pass on both sides and they're not going to do well passing the ball against us.